What's up, Bulldogs? All right, I got a request on one of my videos about leaning into pain. I'm going to go ahead and read the comment here, and I'm going to address that in this video. He says here, uh, on another note, could you do a video on the main channel or in the membership about learning or about leaning into pain? I just went for an arm workout, which was good, but I didn't push myself to the point where I was really sore. I recognize that bulking up for me will probably take a few years because I am currently building up that discipline quote, muscle, so to speak, in both terms of consistency, but more so intensity, practicing pushing myself into the burn with each workout. Any advice would be appreciated. So I think this is <laughs> this is just a, a, a good, you know, good concept of, L, of, of everything is, is, is how do you push into pain, right? What, what does it take to, in order to push into, into pain and, and how do you actually get to the point where where you can do that, right? Uh, not just in an arm workout at the gym, but most of the things that that stop you in life or most of what stops you from, from going forward in life and accomplishing your goals is because you have pain and, and that pain is uh, is something that you that pushes you back, that, that stops you from actually going forward and doing that. So, so what do you do? How do you actually push yourself to go that extra mile or to go into that pain, even though that's not the thing that you want to do. And I think, you know, the best thing I can tell you about this is is a quote that uh, I can't remember the author of this quote, but but he said that uh, I can bear any pain if there is a strong enough reason why, okay, or if there's a reason for it, right? And so the, the idea is that you have to come up with a reason, right? Um, if you have a really good reason, then you're going to have a, a, the ability to overcome pain. But pain without reason or, or pain that is just brought upon you uh, for, for, for no reason that you don't you don't feel like it's accomplishing some kind of goal, you're going to avoid that, that kind of pain. And so you've got to really have in your mind that what, what is it worth it to you? What, what is the reason? Why are you going through this? What What is the, the purpose of this pain? If you don't have that, then you're not going to go through it. You're not going to actually uh, push yourself to the limit that you need to. And so you have to meditate on, instead of trying to use your willpower, instead of trying to say, okay, I'm going to just endure this pain, you, you all you have to do is come up with a really, really strong reason for doing the thing. And if you have that, then you'll endure the pain of, of, of doing that. So, for example, let, let's just say that I that you're going to the gym, okay? You're having trouble working biceps and and, and pushing through the, the pain of that. You're, you're giving up too early on, on your set, okay? Which is really important, by the way. Intensity is, is super important. I actually do in my workouts one set to absolute failure. In fact, I'm going to go to the gym in a little bit here today. And, and I do one set per body part. That's it. But I do it to an extreme failure where you cannot contract that muscle anymore, where there is a, there is a lot of pain. So let's say that you're in the gym and you're you're trying to go to that, that point or you're trying to push it as, as hard as you can. Now, on your own, you might not be able to do this, and, and it might not even be a strong enough motivator that you feel like you you want to get a better physique or you, or you want to bulk up, right? But let's say that I was at the gym with you, okay, and I said, look, if you can, if you can do this bicep curl on this last rep and you can hold it squeezing, trying to push as hard as you can, okay, and you can you can hold this for one minute, all right? I'm going to give you a million dollars. I bet you would do it. Okay. I, I bet you would have no problem doing it. I bet that that pain, even though it would be just as great, that it would feel to you like it's not much at all. All right. So the thing to understand to connect pain with is the outcome. If we have a strong enough outcome, if we believe in something strong enough, then we will endure the pain in order to get that, that thing. Right, you know, if you had to put your hand through, uh, if if there was a a, a bag with a million dollars on it and it was in a fire and you had to put your hand into the fire to grab the bag, and you're going to get burned a little bit, would you do it? Uh, absolutely, right? You would probably do that in order to to gain a million dollars, right? So, again, I'm not trying to just say that it's all about money, but what I'm saying is that you have to have a strong enough why. If you have a strong enough reason then you're going to be able to endure the pain. And, and what most people are trying to do is they're just they're just trying to endure pain for no reason, right? If you just try to push yourself and you just try to have willpower or discipline, yeah, you can you can get that to a degree, but if you have a really strong reason for doing the thing, then you're going to be able to endure that pain. That's why in 
you know, in, in, in actual athletic competitions, people set their PRs. They don't do that. They don't do their personal best in practice usually. Okay, because they're not pushing as hard because they're not able to push through the pain as much. But when you're racing and you're in a competition with, with someone, all right, and there's something on the line, there's some kind of stake, then you're you're much more likely to exhibit a, a, a much more a much more enthusiastic performance. You're, you're much more likely to push through that pain and ignore the pain. The pain is less likely to stop you and to cause you to quit. All right. So how can you do this? How can you practically set this up in your life, understanding this principle so that you're able to accomplish things and to push through this pain? Well, like I said, you have to have a strong why. So you need to think about everything that you're doing and set up either a consequence or a positive reward in your mind for the things that you're doing in order to endure that pain, right? So you have to, that's why it helps to break things down into smaller goals and to put all your focus onto that small goal because when you do that, then you're creating a really, really strong why, right? So for example, let's say when I was training, okay, because I trained for marathons and ultra marathons, all right? If I were just going to go for runs, okay, and I was just going to try and run for a long distance, I probably don't have a strong enough why in order to run 20 miles. Running 20 miles is, is a pretty hard thing to do, okay? So if I were just going out and running on my own and I wasn't training for a marathon and I didn't have a specific training program that I was following, I probably wouldn't do a 20 mile run. Probably at 10 or 15 miles, the pain would get to me and I would, I would crit quit running. There's, there's not a real good reason to endure that pain. But if I'm training for a marathon, okay, and I have created this goal and I have a date where I have to run this marathon and I know as part of this marathon training that I need to run a 20 mile run, I'm probably going to figure out a way to endure that pain and do that run in the practice, in that training in order to achieve that goal. So what I've done is I've set myself up by creating a consequence or a reward, right? You could say that a marathon is both a consequence and a reward because running a marathon sure does feel like a consequence, but it's a reward if you accomplish that thing, then you feel good about yourself, right? And so I've created higher stakes for myself that this 20 mile run isn't just about how I feel today. It's about accomplishing this, this greater goal. So for example, if you, let's say in fitness, all right, if you had to get on a bodybuilding stage, right, if you enrolled in a bodybuilding competition that was, let's say three months from now, and you're going to have to get on stage in some, some, what is it? The, some briefs or some, you know, some really skimpy outfit. Okay. Uh, you're, you're probably going to be a lot more motivated to push through pain in order to, uh, in, in order to uh, do the maximum workout that you need to in order to, to get there because you have now the stake. You have a, a strong reason or a why for it. And, and, and part of this kind of goes into the philosophical of meaning, right? Nothing in life, you, you could say that a nihilistic approach to life is correct in the sense that nothing really has meaning, that life is pointless. But the thing about it is that we create meaning, right? Why Why is a marathon even important at all? Why is 26.2 miles, why is that the distance? I mean, you know, historically we could say because of the Greeks and the, the run to marathon and, and all this stuff. But in reality, it doesn't really matter, right? We've created this idea of a race and of a goal. And why even be fast as a, as a runner? What, what does that even help you to do? It's just something, it's a game we're playing with ourselves, right? We, we've created these stakes. We've created this this game. We've created meaning out of, out of a meaningless thing. And so you have to create meaning. Like what is the true meaning behind this thing? How can you gamify this thing in order to make it so that it's important that you actually do it? right? Everything that you're doing in life, you're doing because you feel like there's a reason for it, that you need to do this. And most of those reasons are made up reasons. Most of those reasons are not actual reality, okay? Including making money and, and getting a good job and having cars and, and clothes and, right? We don't really need all that stuff. Honestly, <laughs> we, we, we don't, there's no reason to have a fancy car, Okay, but we, we might want to have a fancy car because we've created this meaning around this thing or, you know, some value that, that doesn't really exist. We've created all of these things, the, these meanings, right? We, we really just need some food. We just need some clothes. We don't need, you know, fancy clothes. We don't need any of these things. We, we need the basic stuff, but we've created a meaning around 
all of these these other things in order to uh, to motivate us, I, I suppose. But but you know this this is what we do is is we create a meaning around those things. So create a meaning around the thing that you're struggling with, and then you will find a way to push through that pain if that meaning and that why is strong enough. If it's not, you're you're going to give up, and uh, and and that's that's how it normally is for for most people. I'll see you tomorrow.